I've also realized that you have no difficulties with being vulnerable, mm -hmm. showing your weaker side, showing and sharing the difficulties that you're going through. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about that ability to be vulnerable in a public, in a public space. I think it's kind of to my detriment at times because I have a lot of people who have a lot to say and you have people who also think that they know me. Um, but I, I kind of take, especially my, I think my Twitter is the worst, whereas with my Instagram it's not as pronounced as my Twitter or uh, my Facebook also. But I kind of find it to be like a diary, you know. So I'll go out and say my truth in hopes that someone else can bring in their truth and maybe share and resonate with the story. But it's been hard, eh? People are just, they're cruel. Talk, talk to uh, me about it being hard. What, what's been the hardest and what, what's hit you the most? What's been the most painful? A, a, a lot of the times you find someone who just say something. Sometimes it's just a lie. Mm. And I have, I, I've, I have people that I'm answerable to, apart from the fact that everyone knows within my circle that I'm a public figure. But I have friends who I'm accountable to. I've got family who I'm accountable to. So you find these big lies and you're like, Wait a minute, that doesn't mm -hmm. make any sense. But because someone said it online, it has to be true, right? Mm -hmm. So it's, it's... That's the assumption. Yes, that's the mm -hmm. assumption. Mm -hmm. So I, I never have an opportunity to defend myself because the minute I start to defend myself, people will be like, why is she defending herself? So I, I have moments that it actually just affects my mental health because I'm wondering why are they lying? What's the end goal, mm -hmm. you know? And here I am, I'm trying to do something that is different from my generation and yet people are so hell bound on just bringing me down with mm -hmm. any lie they can find. Not because it's true, but because maybe there's a coincidence and then, you know, they link that together and that's it. Uh, I think I even have challenges with my male friends because they'll tell me, no, I can't be seen in public with you because people will start to, to assume something. And these are some of the things that I have to face and deal with um, that I don't necessarily put um, across to everyone. But these are the, the ripple effects of, you know, that vulnerability as well. Do you, get, do you ever get used to that kind of toxicity? No. Uh, so it hurts all the time? All the time. And it hurts more and more as you, because people don't see me as a human anymore. You know, it's... That's yeah. very interesting. So people don't see you as a human no. being. You're an object to be attacked, to be mm. criticized. Mm. Talk to me about that. <sighs> Wait to start. Now you're going to make me cry. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I, I remember one time and I was, I was saying on my Twitter, why, why do you guys find it okay to do this to me? And someone said to me, you chose to be a public figure. So we will scrutinize as much as we want. And they weren't shy about saying it. But at that point, I was like, are we here? And then it, it begins to make me question, do I still want to be doing this or do I want my private life and just to remove myself from public and, you know, go and farm somewhere, mm -hmm. you know, away from all of this. But, oh, it, yeah, it's a it lot. Is quitting the public uh, space uh, an option? Now, no. No. Yeah. You, are, you are into it. They will deal with you. Because they would have won. Mm -hmm. And I can't let them win. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you.